Welcome back, loves, to day three. And today we are discussing setting personal development goals. Okay, um, again, thank you for joining me for our 21 day goal setting challenge with stepping up to the plate of life to eat. I recorded this video and I had it under the wrong recording, so it didn't record anything. So I have to redo it. Um, but basically, um, we are going to go ahead and get into setting goals. Now, there are two, um, there are a few ways that you can go about setting goals. One is to set short-term goals, which are goals that you can accomplish within one month, a week, six months, a year. Those are your short-term goals, and you want to set those goals to increase your confidence. Those are confident boosters, right? The more you set and achieve those type of goals, the more confident you are to setting and achieving more bigger goals. So you have your short-range goals and you have your long-range goals. And your long-range goals are the goals that speak to your soul, right? Those are your dreams. Those you know, that you dream about doing. Those are going to require a more meticulous plan in order to achieve. It's going to take three to five years, sometimes 10 years for you to achieve them. But those goals, as well as short-term goals, are the goals that really, really stretch you to grow into the person that you have to be to even achieve the goal. So it's a beautiful journey when you are setting those long range goals as well as short range goals, but especially the long range because you are growing and learning so much about yourself during that journey. Then there's also setting goals in three categories. So personal development goals, financial goals, and material goals. And we'll go over personal development goals today. Um, what is personal development goals and why is it important? Well, first of all, personal development is a lifelong process. You're going to be always developing yourself. Always, right? Um, so it's a lifelong process. It's also a way to assess your skills and your qualities. What is it that I need to learn? What skills do I need to learn to be this person that I desire to be? or to achieve this? What skills and qualities do I have to learn? What habits do I have to break? What habits do I have to form? It's also a way to consider your aims in life and set goals in order to realize and maximize your potential. Like I said, you grow for setting from setting personal development goals. Like you truly grow um, and learn about your life and how you interact with the world. It also enhances your employability prospects, right? It gets you noticed by employers. It raises your confidence, like we just spoke about. It makes you feel good about yourself. And, hey, I can set anything I put my mind to. So you're able <clears throat> to go out there and make things happen. You're, you're more likely to take risk, right? It also leads to a more fulfilling, higher quality of life. It does. And so what are some examples of personal development goals? Waking up early. Have you heard of that Proverbs? Um, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. There are people who actually live by that. Right? I know when I wake up early, I wake up early five o'clock in the morning, whether I have to work or not, because it gives me time for morning exercise if I need to do it. I get to meditate, maybe do some yoga. I get to see the sunrise. I get to get a head start on projects and goals that I have set for myself, right? Everyone in this world has the same 24 hours. It's how you use that time that's going to determine what you accomplish in life, right? When you wake up in the morning, that's God's way of saying, here's another 24 hours. What are you going to do with it today? Are you going to use the gifts that I gave you? How are you going to 
right your wrongs and make better choices today. All right. So that's a personal development goal. I want to learn how to wake up early. That may require me going to bed early. Right. Um, letting go of the past is an example of a personal development goal. It's important to live in the present. The past really hinders your personal development. So if you're always focused on the mistakes and choices that you made or how people treated you or whatever happened in the past, it was for a reason. It had to stretch you and test you to become the person that you are today and that you would become in the future. Okay, learn from your past, but also learn to let go of your past, right? We already talked about how we attract things to us. So now that you know how powerful thinking and talking things in existence to your life is powerful, now you can change your paradigm and shift that, right? Another personal goal is losing weight and becoming more healthy, reading more books and reading them more often. Stop procrastinating, right? Procrastination, it's a habit. It's a habit. So that can be unlearned. Okay? So those are just some examples of personal development goals. You know, it's whatever skills that you need to be more productive, to live a, a, a beautiful life, to maximize your potential, to find your purpose. Those are your personal development goals. So let's step right into action step three. So I want you to take three to five minutes to write down all of your personal development goals that you want to achieve. Just write whatever comes to mind. Just freeform this, right? Even if you want to pause this video, take three to five minutes to just write in your journal what it is that you want to achieve to improve yourself, okay? Like, I want to learn how to cook more healthy, you know? I want to lose 50 to 70 pounds. I want to read more books. I want to learn how to communicate more effectively with my family and friends and associates. I want to clean and clear my energy. And I want to unblock my chakras. These are personal development goals that I have for myself. Just some, right? And so take three goals from that list. When you're done, take three goals from that list that you can achieve in 30 to 90 days, six months, in a year. Take just three. And with those three goals, write why you want to achieve those three goals. What is your motivating reason that you want to achieve these three goals? I want to lose weight and eat healthy so I can become more confident and live a longer life for my children. Right? I want to read more books so that I can learn more things and increase my vocabulary and become a great conversationalist. I want to learn different points of views other than my own, different perspectives. I love reading, right? These are the reasons why. And then write the time frame for each goal. When do you think that you can achieve those goals? If you feel like you can achieve them in 30 days, give yourself 60. You know why? Because you don't want to set yourself up for failure. You always want to set yourself up for success. Because what happens if you try to set a goal and then you don't achieve it? Then you get very unmotivated to not even tell people about your goals. Then once you stop telling people about your goals, you stop, you stop speaking loudly about your goals. And once you stop speaking loudly on your goals, you start to just write them down. When you start to just write them down, then you just stop thinking altogether. It's just, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. So give yourself time, right? And take it easy on yourself. So I want to lose 75 pounds in three to six months top. I want to get right for the summer, baby. You know, I want to lose this weight. Now, I used to call it baby fat, but nah, my son, my youngest son, five years old. <laughs> so I can't use that excuse no more, okay? 
I can't use it no more, but you want to set a time frame for each goal, right? So you can hold yourself accountable for that. And then write down the steps that you would need to reach those goals, right? Write down an action plan. I, I, I would need to go and work out and do something physical at least three times a week. I would have to cut out these processed foods and sugar and, and all of this just unhealthy um, food from out of my life and eat more healthy, clean food. I have a juicer that I spent almost $100 for. Start juicing more kale and, and vegetables and fruits and eating more fruits and vegetables. Right? These are steps that I can take to achieve this goal. And just things to remember, make sure you are using the SMART technique, right? The specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Make sure that you are putting those on your goals and, and considering those when you're setting your goals. And then start researching and reading books on that which you are trying to accomplish. Reach out to the people who have already accomplished those goals and see what steps they took, right? Start hanging around like-minded people who have that same goal in mind. They can be your biggest support and accountability partners, right? All right, and loves, make sure you guys are drinking your water. <laughs> if you're not able to drink your eight waters a day, even if you have to set yourself a reminder on your cell phone, like, Hey, drink a cup of water right now, right? Especially when you're waking up in the morning. You, you know, you spend hours, your body is dehydrated. The way for your body to love you back is if you love it. And drinking one or two cups of nice water, even if you keep it by your bed stand or by your bed, it doesn't have to be cold. The best water is room temperature water. So, Drink your water. Make sure you're listening to your gratitude video and writing down the things that you are grateful for before you go to bed at night. Um, I also want to share another video of affirmations that I listen to while I'm sleeping so it can just really seep into my subconscious. I'll share that with you in the comments below. Um, but it's a powerful, powerful I am affirmation that you should speak over your life. Um, and that is all, love. So tomorrow we're going to go over our financial goals. Um, and we're going to probably do the same technique that we've done with our personal goals. But remember, financial goals should be planned more meticulous. So maybe we'll wait until the third day to do that. Maybe we'll go into our material goals. But um, feedback. Please leave me some feedback and share one of your goals in the comments below, okay? I would love to know how these videos are affecting you, if there's any aha moments that will help me to step up my game and do more research so that I can um, be more effective with these videos. So thanks again for listening. Have a beautiful, 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 beautiful and productive day, loves. Bye.